All right, number three it says 100 college seniors attend a career fair at a university uh, where categorized and were, were categorized according to gender and according to primary career motivation. The table below shows us the results. If one of these students is to be selected at random, find the probability that the student, the selected student is male. The student selected is male. All right, so this is what we call a two-way table. All right, it's called a two-way table because it gives you two ways of looking at data. So over here is grouped by male and female. Going left, it gives you total. Total number of males is 42. Total number of females is 58. And all together, there's 100 people. And then the other direction tells you career motivation. So if you're motivated by money, motivated by creativity, or motivated by giving back, so sense of giving, you're broken down into three categories and you've shown how many males in each category and how many females. You have totals of each category and if you total each of those, you still get 100, so two-way table. All right, we wanna know the probability of the student being male. So the probability of male, we look at the total males, 42 out of 100. That's all we do, is look at the totals. So probability of male. There's 42 males out of 100. And if we reduce, divide by 2, that will give us 21 out of 50. And we cannot reduce any further than that. Number 4, uh, a pet store has 8 puppies, including 3 poodles, two terriers, three retrievers. If Rebecca and Aaron, in that order, each select one puppy at random, with replacement, uh, they both may select the same one. So that means if somebody selects one poodle, they put it back and the other one just randomly gets one, it's possible that they get the same one. We're gonna find the probability that they select, they both select a poodle. All right, so here's how this works. They both, both, and means multiply both and the word and tell you to multiply so with with probability keep that in mind all right so four they both select the poodle okay so the probability that rebecca selects a poodle there's three poodles out of eight now, when she selects it and puts it back, the probability that Aaron now selects a poodle is still three out of eight. All right, so since we're looking for both, we have to multiply these two together. So uh, the better way to write this, probability that Rebecca and Aaron select a poodle would be three eights times three eights. Find each of their probabilities individual, then we'll multiply them together. That will give us nine out of 64. So the probability that they both select a poodle will be nine out of 64.